Hello everybody, this is Wargaming here. I'm bringing a tutorial video on how to install the FTB mod packs. Uh, this is in corresponding to my most recent video of the FTB Unleashed series. With if, if you watched episode 0, uh, then you know what I'm talking about here. If you've not seen episode 0, click on this link right here. And then it'll take you straight to that video and you can see my FTB Unleashed. So, uh, in this video I'm going to show you basically how to install an FTB mod pack. So first you go to the FTB website, which is feedthebeast.com. Make sure there's hyphens between feed and the beast. There'll be a descript there'll be a link in the description below, which you can click on and take you straight to this website as well. So it will take you so when you first come to the website, you're gonna be greeted with this year logo here with the FTB website. I'll give you all this. Uh, this is pretty old, the mod list stuff. They haven't done much with that. But you real what you really want to do is scroll down or you click on the downloads, it'll bring you right down to here. And then you want to click on either, you see this client download, you want to click on either the jar or exe. Now there's not, if you're on uh, PC or Mac, it's not, it doesn't really matter too much. If you're on Linux, uh, you need to click on the jar. If you're on PC or Mac, you click on the exe. I believe exe works on Mac as well. My cousin has a Mac, so I, I think that's what he uses, the exe. Server, that button doesn't work anymore, I don't think. And the support thing will ask, will show you how with the whole support. Now I've already downloaded it. And when you download it, you're going to be greeted with this, the FTB launcher. Now, these are all the mod packs. You notice how they're all in the same folder with the launcher. This is not you know, done on accident. This is done on purpose. I don't move them all here. They're actually saved in the folder or in the location of the launcher. So remember, I have my FTB. And this stores all of my maps for this whole thing. So... As you can see here, uh, you just double click on it, and then you get greeted with this. This here is the list of all the mod packs you can download for your FTB client. Uh, before you can go, go on and click play or launch, you have to create yourself a profile. See right now I have Wargamer11, because that's my thing. Uh, this is really simple to how to create a new one. To create a new one, you can just click here, click create new profile, and you do the same thing here. Because I already have one created, I'll just show you what it is. So basically, type in your username in Minecraft. If you are use your email thing, put in your email for the Minecraft. If you are got Minecraft, when I got Minecraft, which was before 1.0, then you use your username, type in your password, and then you can name the profile name whatever you want it. It doesn't matter. The profile name is this thing right here. So if you don't want people knowing about it, then you can do that. But me, it doesn't really matter because I'm a YouTube celebrity now. Yay! Not really. But regardless. So if I just click update, it's all done. And now we can go on and click the FTB, uh, launch the FTB. Now if you want how you want to, how you're going to download this, it's really simple. You just click launch. When you click launch, uh, I already downloaded it, but you'll see a little window up here that's going to display a, um, a downloading thing. And once that bar is filled up, it's going to then download the Minecraft jar, put it into place, launch it all for you, and you're pretty much all done and all set. Now, once this launches, for people with lower grade computers, it'll take longer for it to launch. With those with higher grade computers, it'll launch almost instantly. And as you'll see here shortly, uh, I've actually never done it like this before with screen recording. This is my first time on this computer with the screen recording. So normally it would be launched up by now. There we go. As you can see, we are now using the FTB Unleashed and all the other fun stuff for the mods. Scroll all the way down. Boom. Mods. And we got 115 mods. As you see in my other video, that this is all awesome, all good. And we can click quit. And that's how you install the FTB Launcher. Now, as another side note, if you want to also create like a shortcut, what you do is just basically just right click on it. You go to create a shortcut. Makes a shortcut. Put it where you want it. Me? Because I have Windows 7, I can drag it to my taskbar, but not with the shortcut version. I have to do it with the main version. You just... How do I do it? Oh, no. You right-click on it, and then you click Pin to Start Menu, or Pin for, to Taskbar. I already have a pinned right here, so I can't pin it when it's already pinned. So that's how you pin it to your taskbar. And then what I do is I just click on it, launches it up for me, and I'm all set to go. Now I downloaded, as you can see, every single mod pack, and recently I just updated all of them because I like to keep up to date. So then when I play with my friends, I don't have to wait for an update. So this is the War Gamer signing out. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you think that I missed something out, please feel free to put it down in the comments. If 
for some odd reason I messed up on something and please point it out so I know in the future reference that I messed up and I will correct that right away. Until then, this is the Wargamer signing out. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time, ciao.